Hmm. This stuff is rather delicious. Oh, hello. Oh, here, take this. Okay, thanks for joining us for round two to see who is the best chef in this house. I'm on site this week at our test kitchen while the rest of the competition is taking place on our main set. But this week we find ourselves uh, watching the competition between Chuck and Eli. You may remember the contentious debate for president of the house that Eli won. While Chuck may not be leadership material, let's see if he can at least cook better than Eli. Introducing our first contestant, Chef Chuck. Good at most things. Whatever. But I'm great in the kitchen. Yeah, that's the only room. Enough! Japanese. Mexican. Mediterranean. Italian. French. Baguette. Most of you know our next contestant. He's better known as El Presidente in this household. Please welcome Chef Eli. I attack cooking with the passion of an artist. Needs more roast. This is organic, right? Clean utensils are important. But sadly, these are not. <coughs> Magnificent. You've met the contestants. Now let's meet the judges. Once again, we welcome Colt Bronco, actor and singer. Colt, welcome back. Please welcome one of the county's bravest, firefighter Jim Harris. Our final judge is one of Boyle County's finest, Brian. You both know the rules. 30 minutes to prepare, cook, and present your meals to the judges. Chef Eli, what will you be making? I'll be presenting my world-famous chili with a little spice. Sounds wonderful. Chef Chuck, your offering? Well, I shine in the kitchen, but I absolutely radiate on the grill. I'll be preparing the classic American hamburger. Sounds absolutely delightful. All right, it's round two for this family of nut jobs. Okay, let's get cooking. Judges, what's your take on their selections? Chili. Now everyone knows I'm about as cowboy as they come, so I've had chili every which way but loose. God bless you, Philo Beto. And I do love a good burger. I'm as excited as a trucker sidestepping a bear trap as he blows past a chicken coop at Yardstick 44 on the 75. What about that bear in the air? Dang. All this for free? Let's look in on the chefs. Where's Chef Chuck? Now the key to a good burger is fresh beef. And we find the freshest beef down on the farm. Time to take down one of these majestic beasts. I see the best way for the best flavors to do with your bare hands. Yeah. Time to bag one of these elusive beauties. Let's go. We're going with plan B. Wow. That. That was awesome. Okay, Eli, how's that chili coming along? I'm just getting a little spice. <laughs> Chef Chuck, how are those burgers? Judges, any final words before we sample those dishes? Just a reminder, new album coming out. Tank tops and tea tops. Here's a little sampler.
Maybe later. Time is up. Let's bring out Chef Eli and his chili. Eli, please present. Here we go. Yeah. Is this two alarm or three alarm chili? Five alarm. Is that legal? Beats me. Go for it, partner. Uh, you first, Colt. I don't think so. Not a good idea. Tank tops, tea tops, grab a copy. Bunch of babies. Mmm. One alarm at best. Get him out of here. I'm the president! I'm the president! I'm the president! Who was a uh, first? Okay, Chef Chuck, how about those burgers? All you have to do is not poison anyone. I haven't seen buns look that good since Daytona 87. Family show, Colt. What? I was talking about a cookout thrown by the one and only Awesome Bill from Dawsonville. Man knew how to throw a barbecue, NASCAR style. Here, Chief, let me get you a napkin. You do realize I'm a cop. Oh, right. Sorry. Run that up the ladder. That one's got my vote. How'd you do it, Chef Chuck? Seemed like you were struggling for a minute there. Well, to the untrained eye, it would appear as such, but as I indicated from the beginning... Chef Chuck, anything you want to tell us? No. Nope. Let's run that hidden camera footage. <laughs> Despite that pathetic footage, the arrest of Chef Eli disqualifies him from this round by default, so that makes you the winner. Whew! Default! What a sweet, glorious word! Hey, Chief, can I get that 20 back? Already spent it. Hey, you still think you can get me those suspenders? Sure thing. Sucker. That concludes this week's competition. Congrats to Chef Chuck, sort of. A special thanks to our judges, Colt, Fire Marshal Bill, and Serpico. What? Until next time, let's get cooking! <laughs>